You have been here for many hours. It's been a trying day and an exciting day for all of us. And I think it's a little bit late for those who wanted to see the hockey playoffs. So could I tell them that there will probably be some action tonight at the Skyline Hotel and that we should all be there. Thank you very much. Yes, you will please. Pierre Elliott to the moment of glory, then already the shadow of responsibility. Those grave decisions that the Prime Minister must make alone. He has a cabinet to remake. Here now is Prime Minister Pearson. My friends, I want to go to the hockey game too. But I do want to say a word before this wonderful convention breaks up. Our new leaders speak such beautiful French, I think I'll speak in English tonight. I'm going to do something which is not usual. I'm going to begin by congratulating the losers in this contest for the fight that they put up. Perhaps I may be pardoned if I single out one who was fighting the battles of liberalism and security and freedom in Parliament before some who are here as delegates today were born. Paul Martin. battled in this campaign from the beginning and who withdrew with gallantry and chivalry. As to our new leader, soon to be our new prime minister, I was a little worried about one thing he said when he talked about making my wife his official hostess. Well, if he takes her over, I'll still have my dog. <laughs> I ask for all of us, all of us, to rally around him as a united party. And I pledge my own support, everything I can do, to help him in his new responsibility. I ask for him the loyalty and the help in good times and in hard times, and he will have both, that you have given me, and without which no leader, no matter what miraculous qualities he may have or have been given, without which no leader can carry successfully the awesome burdens of office. It is especially true that when the weather is stormy and the going is tough, that he is going to need our backing and our encouragement. And we must give it to him. I know we will. <laughs> he will be facing very serious problems at once. He'll have little time for rest and reflection because in a few days he'll be thrown into the arena and there are some self-styled lions there waiting to devour another Christian. <laughs> but having disposed of them, I know he will lead a government that will do great things for Canada, our beloved country. Give it off, Mon Chef. I would offer to you, my leader, I 
very sincere congratulations and my support. I know that you will enjoy success because I know that you deserve it. I'd like me to congratulate once again that now that this great convention is coming to an end, all those who have been responsible for its organization and its management and the conduct of business, because it's been a wonderful conference. They have worked around the clock, they have worked effectively, and they have worked well, and we owe them a great deal. This conference, this convention, has been a very great success. It's a fine augury for our party to go forward. It's been a great success, and if it has, it has been due to the members of the party who have offered themselves as leaders of the party, and it above, above all has been due to you as delegates. I wish you all well, and I wish for my successor everything that is good, success, satisfaction, and the reward that comes from work well done. Thank you. What a warm ending to this convention. Oh, there'll be tears tonight, there'll be wakes, especially the young supporters of the candidates. They're always painfully sorry that their man didn't win. But there's no real wounding here, there's no real bitterness here. Prime Minister Pearson, tribute to the oldest political pro of them all, Paul Martin, who has a warm place in the heart of every member of the Liberal Party of Canada. And now, the new style. For most of us, I suppose, it's hard to remember a time when our national scene wasn't dominated by these two very strong men, each in his own way, Lester Pearson and John Deefman. Now, in the short space of a few months, they're both gone. And we've got a new style, the style of the 1970s. <laughs> 